step off the train I'm walking down your street again And past your door But you don't live there anymore It's years since you've been there Hi everybody, this is Roxy and I'm working on a swap project for your paper pantry. We're going to upcycle some manila envelopes. These are kind of the uh, what are they? Six by nine from I found these at a, oops at a thrift store, but you can get them at the Dollar Tree for a buck. So they're six by nine. Um, I have a video. I'll put the link down below where I did this project before, and basically I made it into a card holder. So you just fold this over. So you have four and a half by six and you can put some um, four and a quarter cards in or you can just leave it you know so you can I cut off the end put stuff in and then made this into a closure so you got a pocket here and a pocket up here so the, there's four of us so far um, that are swapping and I'm gonna do I'm gonna use the Maggie Holmes bloom and flourish and Willow Lane collections they all kind of look the same to me but I know they're different um, and then some chaos craft stickers and okay like I've, I've got Tina she likes kind of modern um, kind of whimsical so this to me says Tina and then Sharon likes vintage like um, her favorite chaos or can company line was flora and fauna so I think I can find some mellower um, vintage look from that and then finesse likes really really cool colors. I don't even know what color wave you'd call that, but um, she likes flowers and kind of um, really interesting color combos. Like, I think she'd really like this, that piece, you know, where for Tina, Tina is more the birds. Sharon, probably more down here, these, that, not that. So I think I'm going to have fun, and then I'm obviously going to make ones for myself too. So I think I'm going to have fun using that um, as a guide, just to kind of go by what they like. And um, for Maggie Holmes, I have this whole uh, Willow Lane. I think this is on Peachy Cheap where you could get these two, that packet of ephemera, and the stamp set for a steel. And then Flourish, and this was from Tuesday morning. And I had found this Saturday, this past Saturday at Tuesday morning. So, I'm going to pick out some papers. Alright, so I think I've already decided. Um... Finesse. I hope it's still in here. This is our Bash Your Stash series. I'll have to pull that out for Tina. Actually, I think I'm going to do something. I think this would be cuter for Tina. She likes girls, you know, like she's a hairstylist. And she just got married. But she likes um, girly stuff. So I think that's good for her. Yeah, that's definitely a finesse. And then I'd have to find one for myself. Oh, that's cute, the fringe. Oh, they're all repeated. Awesome. You know, she might Sharon's a florist, so she might like that ditzy floral back there. 
That's... I like that green floral, but I think I like the ditzy one better. It's kind of more fun. I love that scallop. Just do that for me. Like, that's cute. thought I saw another one, yeah. I think I'll do that one for Sharon. And then for mine... Oh, this is going to be the hardest one. I'm like, I like a lot of different styles with crafting, even my clothes, music. I like any kind of music, uh, except for jazz. I mean, there's certain jazz. I like certain jazz, but I don't like the jazz where it like gets you all agitated and makes you want to like just race out of the room and that kind of, it's, it's too off beat, you know, oh, it just drives me cut. I can't even talk about it. I get anxiety. So, I see, I don't know what I want. Do I want the birds? Maybe, I really like that scallop, though. The bows are cute. Ouch. Mm-hmm, see, this is going to be the harder one. That's, washi's cute. Mm. If uh, if Elise was playing with us, I would definitely do that for her. She loves Kingham. That's really cute too, though. And the banners are cute. Well, okay, I'll think of it as if I was going to give it. That's cute. Yeah, that's cute. I like this. Alright, and then I'm going to use papers from these these two guys to kind of, you know, play around, play around with it. Play around with it. Alright, so I've got this all picked out. And I think now I can put this aside. Hopefully, ugh. And then, pick out some coordinations. So, for Miss Tina, oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's cute. That'd be kind of cute with it. Well, we'll see. really cute. Oh, that's cute. Hmm. I think I'll start with two. For finesse, it's a little more easier. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Ooh, there she like that. I finesse. If you're watching, you're going. To, what are you talking about? And then Sharon. I better stick with the bigger ones. That's really pretty. That's kind of cool. And for moi, oh, oh my, my alarm. All right, so I gotta quick finish this and go. Now for mine, I gotta be less busy, I think. There. 
All right, so I will get started when I can come back. Alrighty, so I'm going to fold my envelopes first. <clears throat> How do you get that thing off? Oops, okay. There. Alright, so this is just in half. In half up to the, you know, the flap. Kind of an awkward bone folder. I suppose there's more for scoring for the little scoreboard. Okay, and then. <clears throat> So, put this back on. I'll start with mine. I pulled some borders out, but I'll be using those later. So, this is how I do it. I just go, um, like I put piece by piece on. Per section. I should say I cover each section. I don't use a cutter because it's just faster. Seems faster at least. And you don't really want to go right up onto that, just kind of just before it. Oh my, Sheila left me. Sheila! I think she thinks she's going to go outside from down here. We just can't do that because she'll run after every little critter she can smell. And then I'll do washi on like over that, you know. that for um, something else. So I think I'm going to cut this off.
So we're going to get eight more inches of snow, supposedly, I think, uh, Thursday. But I'm getting my snow joe is supposed to be coming today. <clears throat> I have not heard a word from... It kind of was through Google, you know, because I, I looked up Snow Joe um, to see if I could find a good price online or a coupon. And this thing came up on Google where it was 20% off through Target, which, you know, obviously I can go right up the street and go to Target and get it. But I kind of figured they'd be out because a couple weeks ago um no I'm not gonna throw that away this one popular not popular so much as oops it's a local hardware store family owned they were on the news because they had sold two in one day 250 snowblowers um because of this crazy storm we've been having or storms but it was the big storm, I think, two weeks ago or so. And li they literally sold 250 snowblowers, which is a heck of a lot. Even, you know, in a snowy place. Like Alaska, in one day in Alaska, that'd be a lot. Of course, they're not really... I don't know if I want to keep doing this. I think I do. And then, um... Decorate with the rest. Oh, my nose is just driving me crazy. And then I already knew, or think, or worry, I'm going to run out of paper for the flap. Maybe not. This is crooked. Oh. So this you really want to keep in between or off that center a pretty good amount. Like probably like a a scooch of an inch. See otherwise it would it would fold it. I hate when that happens. It drives me insane. When the paper folds up just a little bit, it's like so icky. Oh, oh I did it wrong. I better go like this. Wait, no. Yeah, that'll work. Ooh, it's just going to be tight. I'll just have to figure something out. Why did that happen? I suppose I should be going this way. And then I'll have to do something else up there. All right. I'm kind of excited. I was going to surprise Scrubby, but I cannot keep a secret. That's, don't ever tell me a secret. I can't keep it. I can't, like, ugh, I just can't. I don't know why. I mean, I can if it's about a personal thing. But when it's, okay, it's mostly when I'm going to give somebody to something. I can't keep my mouth shut. I have to tell them because I'm so excited. So, he already knows. He's like, well, am I going to have to do this? I'm like, well, I don't know. I've never used one. <laughs> Oh, the snow joe that is. Because, you know, with snow blowers, you got to turn the chute. And it's kind of, I mean, I'm kind of trying to visualize how do you, how, how high is it going to shoot off so it shoots off over the railing of our balcony? Because it's basically what I got it for. Because that thing is just...
you know, it's just hard on him to not, like he hasn't complained, but I don't want anything to happen to my sweet pie. Oh, there we go. Um, you know, because that's dangerous. Shoveling so snow, snow is dangerous. Then I told you about the the ice dams on everybody's roofs. Well, not ours. It's like older homes, um, homes built before, I suppose, the 90s. And so they're building them differently now so that what happens is the snow covers and covers and covers. And then it gets to like these overhangs on the roof where there's no heat, you know. Like the attic will kind of warm the roof enough. It's not going to be stark freezing cold like the overhang is. So then, then when it melts, all that snow gets stuck on the overhang because then it gets cool or cooled off. So then that becomes what they call an ice dam. And the icicles are from the top of their roofs, or, you know, the bottom of their roofs all the way down to the ground. So what am I going to do with this? That's kind of cute. Maybe... See, like, I could cut this down, but I'm not going to. I'm going to do the same. Okay. i got to find my paper again. All right, so I just cut a piece off for that stupid flap. And, <clears throat> and I'll add that to the top. Yeah, Sheila came down. She is all, she is really a sweet dog, but she is so all in it for herself. Like, everything she does, it's for Sheila. Like, coming down here. She thinks if she comes down here, I'll let her out, because um, sometimes Scrubby lets her out down here, especially with this crazy weather, because she can just go to the bathroom outside there, and nobody has to go for a walk, you know, like, it's literally easier to just open the door and let her go out on her leash than it is to get all your coats on, get your boots on, go outside, stand in the freezing driveway. God forbid somebody comes by and wants to talk, and you freeze your patootie off. But back to Sheila, she's just all in it for herself. Because she just came down here with me. I, I got her to come down. Which is hard in itself. And I just heard her a minute ago go back upstairs. Because I didn't let her outside. She thought, she, oh good, I'll go outside. I can go play with the fox. And see what I can find. Because she does it like at supper time. Like if we're watching, you know, the news or whatever. Um, she'll come up and she'll tell me first because she knows I'll say, oh yeah, you know, I'm the boss lady. She knows I'm the boss. Boss lady. So, she'll tell me first and I'll go, you know, and then I'll say, yeah, we better go eat. Well, only because, like, she's not concerned for our welfare of eating. She knows that after we eat, she eats. Because after we get done eating, then we give her food. You know, so it's just all about Sheila. They learn so fast how to manipulate. And then they are really good at it. And we don't always um, catch on right away. It's kind of annoying, though. She's even gotten to where, when we're eating dinner, um, once in a while we'll give her a little table scrap. We've cut back a lot, though. Um, but she'll put her paw on your chair. If she's really into what you're eating, she'll put her head on your lap and your, her paw 
on your leg. Like she'll put her paw on her her head on your leg. Like like that little cat from Shrek. You know, and then give you that little owly eyes. Alright, so that one's done. Then my other papers. I think I'm gonna make um like some little pockets. Oh my nose. Oh, this one's pretty. Isn't that in that one? See, I don't get this. It's like all the papers are in all the same ones. Or all the same papers are on all the different... You know what I mean. That'd be good for that one. That's too busy. I don't like this one, though. I don't like that one. I wish it was something different. Oh, that'd be good. Like, that's pretty. But, of course, that's going to be one that I'll probably never use. See, this was just in the other book. I don't understand. But yet, it's a different name, so... Is it a trick? That's really cool. That's cool. That might be good for sharing. All right, I don't like this. Like, are you supposed to color it or what? I don't know. So, anywho. Oh. Now what? I think I'll make a little kind of a... Um, something. This is cute like that. That'd be cute on a pocket. So then I gotta decide, like, oops, I forgot to cut my thing open. Okay, I gotta cut this open. I'm gonna do that on my cutter, though. To slice open my pocket. So Reed Drummond a few weeks ago had, you know, the Pioneer Woman. Oh, I love there. Had um, a thing about the Drummond Museum, the family museum in town. They must be just, I mean, I understand, I'm not, they must be. They are loaded because the Drummond family, back when she kind of first came out, and I, of course, I got to know more, as much as I can about my stock, the people I stock. And... I looked on Google, the Drummond family owns like some of the most, like they, let me see how to say it, they have some of the more, no wait, they're one of the top private family landowners in the country, the Drummonds, like her husband's family. And now with her gold mine, and the mercantile, and the lodge, and the this and the that, they must be just rolling in dough. I mean, literally, out in their back 40, because it's, they just, I, everything she touches turns to gold. But, you know, she's really a nice person. She's really cool. So I love her. Her books were good. She's a really good writer. I got to meet her a few years ago at the Mall of America for a book signing. Oh, but here's my point. So I stockpile, you know, I, I tape all the crap we're going to watch so we don't have to watch the commercials. So I had a stockpile of hers. That'd be kind of cute to border cut that somehow. But it's too thick now. Hmm. So I should have thought of it. I stockpile hers and then watch a couple here and there. So the other day I watched one on the Drummond Family Museum thing. And she made this, um, I can't talk and do stuff at the same time, by the way. She made this, um, I think I'm going to do it like a book. My other ones were like this. 
I'm going to cover that, so don't worry. She made um, a pack. No. I'm making a pocket. She made a chicken, what was it? Just chicken stew using her, using Lad's great great grandma's recipe or something. It had rutabagas, parsnips, turnips, carrots, potatoes, and then um, celery and onion stew. I made it today. It is so delicious. I only had a little tiny bit just to test it. But then, so I thought, oh, I'll post it. You know, I took pictures and that. And I thought, well, I'll post it on Facebook. So I go out of Facebook. And you know how they have, you know, this day, five years ago or whatever. Darned if today wasn't the day that I met her at the Mall of America. Because there's my photo from five years ago. You know, Facebook reminding me how much fun I had that day. What should I do with this? Isn't that bizarre? That's like a really weird coincidence. I'm kind of stumped. I do like that for a pocket, though. That'd be really cute. I think I gotta have a pocket in here, though. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go right down here, make a little pocket. Try not to talk and do stuff at the same time. Now, oh, do I want to go under that? Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't like it like that. And it's crooked. Why is that crooked? The paper should be straight. There. I'll save that. So, that was a coincidence. Or was it? Maybe it wasn't. I want that circle in the middle, so... I got it. What, how much is this? This is four and a quarter. So I need to cut off. What I want. So what do I want? Four and a quarter. I want. I don't even know what I want. Six. So four and a quarter is to here. This is my hard part. So I need to cut off so much from either side. Let's say it's four. I cut an inch. So I got one. I need one, two, three, four, no, three, there. So, right? One, two, three, and a quarter, or whatever it is. Oh, I hate this. Okay. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eighths. And then that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That better be right or I will be so mad. I will just throw this whole cutter out the window. It's not, it's not, look at it, it looks off. Ugh. Better be right. See, now why am I going to do that? Well, I got a border. I don't know. Don't make fun of me. I am... I'm measuredly challenged. Oh, we'll just do that. So now it's got... I'm gonna go over here. No. Nope. Go right in the middle. Screw it. Alright. Oops. I think this cutter's done because it always gets real rough cuts. I think it's because the groove where the blade goes is just so chopped up. But I think I've had it for about 10 years. 
or maybe, you know, eight. A lot of years. I did buy a new one because this one got broke in half, kind of. The corner busted because somebody didn't realize it was where it was and went right over it. Bumped into it, kind of. So it broke. So there. Pardon my sniffles. It's cold. All right, do I want another one here? No, because then I'd have to have that. So I got pocket, 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 and then I want a border on here. Yeah, I'm going to do a border. Mm, yeah. Oh, that'd be pretty. Um, yeah. I think I'm gonna do... Oh, this is cute. But see, I don't know if this will show up. Maybe I'll do it with the pink. Super cute, Martha the Die. Why did she ever quit doing stuff? And then she started up again. I don't get it. Like, why would you sell everything out and then start making them again? Like, all these, you know, the border dies and stuff. I haven't been to Michael's for ages, but I heard she was back at it. And when I went, there was just some of the same products that she had, like some of the same dyes, and, and it's like, well, why? I don't get it. <clears throat> she knows. Only Martha knows. That's really cute. Yeah, yeah. I like that. So I need. I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cut them both at once. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna beat it at its own game. Ha ha! Oops. See. That's cute. Cute die or punch. Then Boy, where was that tornado? Alabama? Oh, those poor people. How horrid. That would be the worst thing. Actually, we were, um, once, because we get them here, but not, not right where we live, because we're up high. Um, but one day, we were out on the deck with Bill's brother and sister-in-law, and I'm facing, oh, east, which way am I facing? South. And they were facing north. And all of a sudden, I was like, oh my gosh. I go, it's really getting black out here. And they all turned around and they're like, oh, it's fine. And all of a sudden, I like, like about five minutes later, I was like, holy cow. And I look, they all take off running while I'm just kind of like, oh my God. And it's, it was the worst tornado. In fact, our nephews, um, him and his wife, well, he wasn't home. His wife and had the three kids. No, where they had two. I don't remember. I think they had two at the time. Um, her sister lived kind of near them. And um, Mary and the kids. That's cute. We're at her sister's, I think. Anyways, they all hung on to a, a what you call it, a water heater. 
and it's the only thing that saved their life. They would have been thrown up in, I mean, it, it was total devastation. You know, but it's like, they had insurance, they had this and that. But some of these people in Alabama, they're, they were left with nothing. I'm sure you saw it. It's like, it's just scattered. There's nothing left. Where these houses up there, you know, they're kind of bigger houses. So they were still, most of them were fixable. But oh my gosh, these poor people down there. That's cute. So, I think I'm going to have to do this over here. I think I'll do that. Nope, I'll do that. Nope, I'll do this. I'll do this. I'll do this. I'll just get the other piece out of here. Because otherwise it'll look, drive me nuts every time I look at it. That's why I took it out already at some point and used it. So now i got to recreate it. Perfectly. So I need... Two and a half, can I always cut it off? Wanna see what I did? Oops. I'm gonna break my camera now. See it's all bent, it's all cracked right there. But it still works. Just that the groove is bad. And then I did seven eighths, right? Or something like that. Yeah. Since you've been 